Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about the ratio concept. We'll have this. In our school, only 15 out of 50 teachers have a stable internet connection. This would also mean that 35 out of 50 teachers do not have a good internet connection. The comparison of the numbers of teachers who do not have a good internet connection with those who do can be written as a ratio of 35 is to 15. We read this one as 35 is to 15. The numbers 35 and 15 are the terms of the ratio. When each term of a ratio is multiplied or divided by the same non-zero number, an equivalent ratio is produced. Just like for example, if we will multiply 35 is to 15 by 10, remember we have to multiply each term by 10. So that will give us 350 is to 150. What if we will divide each term by 5? That will give us 7 is to 3. And we consider 7 is to 3 as our lowest form or lowest term of this ratio. Why is it considered as lowest term? Because the only factor that the terms have in common is 1. We have also to take note that the order in which a comparison or ratio is expressed is important. The quantity which is mentioned first in the comparison must be written first in the ratio. Let us consider the following example. Here, we have two balls and three candies. The ratio of the number of balls to the number of candies is 2 is to 3. Well, the ratio of the candies to the number of balls is 3 is to 2. But they mean the same thing, that for every two balls, there are three candies. We have to take note that the ratio is the comparison of two quantities, say A and B, given in a particular order. The ratio is written as A is to B, where the symbol is read as is to. We can also express ratio as a fraction. Suppose we have three flowers and five pots in here. Written as a fraction, the ratio of the number of flowers to the number of pots is 3 is to 5. So, 3 is to 5 is equal to 3 over 5 or 3 fifths. Remember that the order in which a ratio is expressed is important. The quantity which is mentioned first in the ratio must be written in the numerator of the fraction. Therefore, we can say that the ratio of the number of pots to the number of flowers is 5 is to 3. Let's find the ratio of the shaded region to the unshaded region. Our answer here is 1 over 3, where 1 is the shaded and 3 is the unshaded region. We have a problem here. In Mom Jessery's class, the ratio of boys to girls is 4 is to 3. If there are 12 boys, how many are girls? To solve this problem, we may use a model in understanding and visualizing this problem. For the boys, we can draw 4 boxes and for the girls, 3 boxes. These 4 boxes for the boys is equivalent to 12. That makes 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3 making our boxes filled out with three. Same as with the boxes with our girls. We write three in each box, and now we can solve the number of girls in Mom Jesser's class. That will be, yes, three plus three plus three is equal to nine. Nine girls in Mom Jesser's class. And that's it, we're done. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!